Hello everybody and welcome back to another EH Productions chemistry video. Today we'll be making some zinc sulfide, which is a glow-in-the-dark powder. So what you need for this experiment is some sulfur powder. I have a lot of sulfur powder here. Also you need some zinc powder, which I don't have. However, I do have zinc in a form of a four pound ingot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand this uh, with some sandpaper until it turns into a powder. So uh, let me go get my stuff. As protection when uh, sanding metal, I'm going to wear some gloves. I'm going to also wear a mask that is um, used for sanding metals. And I'm going to wear some goggles. Now I'm going to get some fine sandpaper, as you can see over here, and I'm going to start uh, grinding that down. Now I'm going to grind this down on a sheet of paper so I could collect the uh, uh, particles later. Alright, so I measured out all the ingredients we need. Uh, we need 0 0.8 grams of zinc powder, which I made over here. Make sure I get all of it out. Try to tap it a little. And on the other side, we need 0 0.6 grams of sulfur. Right there, like so. Got to tap that out too. All right, and after we mix those two together, I'm also gonna put in um, just a dash of copper powder because uh, that's supposed to make the zinc sulfide glow a little better. So before I mix them together, I'm actually gonna just crush all these uh, lumps of sulfur because I want, I want it to be as powderized as I can, but I don't wanna grind them together after I mix them. Okay, now I already pre-folded this paper so I could just mix them together like that. Alright, here's our mixture and now I'm going to add in some copper powder. Alright, that should be good enough. Now we're going to pour that into our reaction vessel. Alright, my reaction vessel is pretty much just a small can and uh, I'm going to pour the mix in the center. Like so. Alright, I'm going to take the camera back now. I'm going to ignite it using this. You can see there's some matches uh, stuck onto a very long stick, so I could just ignite it from a distance. And uh, now I'm going to light the matches. All right, face shield on. Okay, that's on fire. Now I'm going to put my welding gloves on. Ready right, to go. Oh, we got some sort of reaction there. Here's uh, what we have. As you can see, there's some unreacted bits of the mixture, so I'm going to try to light it up. All 
It looks like nothing's really happening. So uh, later, I'm gonna test to see if it actually glows in the dark. I think that uh, little yellow spot over there, that's the um, zinc sulfide that we made. We're now gonna see if it glows at all. And I'm gonna put my black light on top of the zinc sulfide. And it is kind of fluorescing a little, but you can't really see it on camera. Um, when I take the light away from it, you can actually see a very, very small glow. Um, other than that tiny glow, the, um, our attempt at making some glow-in-the-dark powder is kind of unsuccessful, pretty much. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and comment.